Can a South City church vandalized with graffiti carrying racial undertones? According to neighbors, someone spray painted White Lives Matter on the building overnight. It is a term that sprouted in opposition to the Black Lives Matter civil rights movement. And tonight, the graffiti remains on Grace United Church of Christ at Wilmington and Leona in South St. Louis. First Alert 4's John Kipper spoke to neighbors about the vandalism. When I came out and looked at it, yeah, I was, I was shocked and kind of embarrassed. Grace United Church of Christ is a small church nestled into the Holly Hills neighborhood. But if you happen to go by it Monday, you'd see a message with racial undertones. White lives matter. First thing I do is I open the front door and I went, oh my gosh, look at that. Who did that to the church? The Anti-Defamation League, an anti-hate organization, calls white lives matter a white supremacist phrase that originated in 2015 as a racist response to the Black Lives Matter movement. Black Lives Matter gained a lot of traction in 2014 following protests in Ferguson after a white police officer killed 18-year-old Michael Brown, who was black. There are signs outside Grace United Church of Christ saying in part, Jesus didn't reject people and reject racism. It's a shame because it's obviously a really welcoming church and that's actually one of the things I liked about this neighborhood whenever I was looking for a house here. So it appears whoever vandalized this building was looking to stir the pot. It is childish because, uh, you know, assuming I'm hoping that kids did it, when they grow up, they won't be doing that anymore and they'll look back on it and they'll say, why? What an idiot I was. That's Mike Steinfeld, who says he's lived next door to the church building for 43 years. He says this type of behavior doesn't fit the neighborhood. I mean, we got our problems in this neighborhood, but no nobody's putting up graffiti that I know of on any of the buildings around here. And after efforts to remove the paint failed Monday, neighbors like Diane Menard plan to regroup Tuesday. A bunch of us are going to all meet over there tomorrow about 10 or 11 and see if we can get it cleaned up.